Hey guys, welcome back to World War Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we will review the best way to maintain your camper battery alive. Okay, so you don't want to replace that thing every season. Now, we found the best way to do it, guys. Solar battery charger. They have two different sizes. We got a small one, they have a bigger one as well. A 12 watt, this is a 6 one. 6 watt. And let me show you how big the 12 is. This is a 12 and it's charging that BM that we're currently right here, but we found that the 6 one works pretty, pretty good as well. So you can see the cold cranking amp on that motor home here, it's 850. We haven't driven this thing for one year and one month, so 13 months. Okay, let's go ahead and test the battery and see how much power we have in the battery now. All the tools and parts that we use, guys, will be listed in the description of the video below. So we have the scanner, the battery tester connected now. Okay, and we're going to select English, in vehicle test, before charge, regular flooded, cold cranking amp, and ours is 850. I already input the number, click OK. We're testing the battery now. Okay, and let's see what it is. We have 470, and it's rated 850. So it's about halfway done, 11.4 volts. What we're going to do now, okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect the charger, the solar charger here, and you have two different options. Okay, you have uh, regular clamps like that, or you can disconnect them, and you can install this one right here and plug it in your cigarette lighter. But in our case, I just recommend the clamps. It works better and it works on any vehicle that way. And before you, uh, before you start the vehicle, you have to unhook the panel so you don't cause any damage. Okay, the positive goes right here on red and negative black okay, goes on this side. And in our case now, we need to find some light for the panel to work. Okay, just get it out of the way now. Close the hood. Okay, and I'll just leave it in the sunshine, okay, and see how long it's going to charge the battery. So you can see guys, it's been about five hours in the sunshine, and it's getting in the shade now. So that's what we get at the most, about five hours of direct sunshine. Okay, this is the battery right here, so let's see how much we charge now. Okay, we're going to test it quick. Okay, connect the positive, negative, let's get the reading and we're going to proceed. Okay, so we're going to go through the settings. It's 850 amp battery. Testing now. And as you can see we have 12 volts guys. We had 11, 11 something and we had 470 amps in our case now we have 500 amps so for about 5 hours we charge about 30, 30 amps so you can see to uh, fill up the rest of the battery we are going to need about 50 hours of sunshine oh, probably about probably about 10 days and we will be able to completely charge our battery and after that it's just going to maintain it charged so if you don't drive it, I recommend getting one of those solar chargers, guys. Okay, and you can just go ahead once the battery is charged. I'm going to clean the windshield, place it on the front of the windshield, and just maintain the battery charged all the time. So that way, it's not going to bad. Definitely a great product. They have one that's uh, twice bigger, I showed you. Uh, it charges way faster, too. Uh, so depending on the battery size and your needs, you might pick the other one too. So we'll have the links guys posted in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.